Introduction Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can provide you with a number of benefits and can really transform your life for the better. Most people do not appreciate the power that gratitude has, and you will be far ahead of the curve going through this training and applying the techniques in it to develop your attitude of gratitude. In this training, you will learn what gratitude is and why it is so powerful. Making the transition to a gratitude-based life is going to require knowledge, application, and persistence. It is not an overnight miracle, but you can get started immediately after you have gone through this training. You will learn in the training that gratitude will bring more abundance into your life. With the power of the law of attraction, you can use your shift to gratitude to send the right signals to the universe and get more of what you desire. Most people focus on the lack in their life, but you will be appreciative of what you have and open the door to abundance. You will need to develop a gratitude mindset and you will learn how to do this in the training. After this, you can develop gratitude habits that will become automatic after a while. Practicing gratitude daily is very important, and we provide you with some excellent ways to do this, which are very effective. Gratitude will make you more optimistic and happier in life. You can use it to improve your relationships using the methods that we provide in the training. We've tried to provide you with the best methods to develop an attitude of gratitude in the fastest possible time. Follow the advice in this training, and you won't go wrong. What is gratitude? When you think about the word gratitude, what does it mean to you? We believe that it is all about being thankful for what you have, counting your blessings, being really appreciative of anything that you receive, and really valuing simple things in your life that are really important. Each morning when you awake, be grateful that you have another day of life. One of the best ways to understand gratitude is to think of everything as a miracle. The fact that you are alive, that you have a roof over your head, there is food and water available to you, and so on. The real art of being grateful is to develop an awareness on a continual basis about what you have, no matter how small. Most people tend to concentrate on the things that they don't have. The law of attraction will keep providing them with lack if they persist with this. When you express gratitude on a regular basis, you make a transition from always focusing on lack to focusing in the abundance that you have right now. There are health benefits to adopting an attitude of gratitude as well. Many studies have shown that being grateful makes people happier and more resilient to the challenges of life. The simple act of saying thanks. Many of us are taught to say thanks when we receive something from others. It tends to be an automatic reaction. But the giving of thanks can have a significant impact on the person receiving as well as for the giver of the thanks. The impact is even more intense if there is strong emotion linked to the giving of thanks. If the receiver sees that you are really appreciative for what they have done for you, then they will get a warm feeling inside when they get a sincere thanks from you. Gratitude goes back a long way. The Roman philosopher, Cicero, discussed the subject of gratitude over 2,000 years ago. He saw the value in it and described it as opening doors and keeping people young. Cicero saw gratitude as a true virtue. But we believe that gratitude is a lot more than a virtue. It is something that people feel from deeply within and a strong emotion. When we are grateful to others, we feel this inside and we also experience a positive emotion when we receive sincere gratitude. When you adopt an attitude of gratitude and harness the power of this emotion and inner feeling, then it is going to help you make really strong connections. Unfortunately, in modern times, gratitude is not as prevalent as it once was and we want it to make a massive comeback. A sense of belonging. We are a gregarious species, and when we express gratitude, we are really strengthening our sense of belonging in the human race. Being grateful will provide you with a total sense of well-being. Here's a little exercise for you. Close your eyes and think about a time when you felt really appreciated. Make this feeling strong and really live it. Note the words that you hear. What feelings are you experiencing? What really appreciated these feelings? What did you think at the time? Did this make you joyful? If so, why? Write down the answers to all of these questions. You can reflect on them at a later time. No single gratitude definition. We do not believe that there is a single definition of gratitude. You will see definitions for gratitude that center around emotions, traits, attitudes, habits, and even morals. Gratitude is complex and it is dynamic. We believe that gratitude is actually a skill. When you cultivate the skill of gratitude, your life will dramatically transform for the better. It will help you get more of the things that you want and strengthen your relationships. 
the gratitude emotion. You may notice that gratitude has a strong connection to moods. We think that it is more about emotion. Emotion is a definite personal experience or circumstance. A mood can be influenced by a number of different things and doesn't usually come from within. When you think about gratitude, you usually express it in response to an action that occurs in a relationship situation with someone else. Another person has given you something, or you have given something to another person. When people express gratitude for receiving, they are performing an exchange. This exchange strengthens the gratitude emotion. Most emotions are powerful, but gratitude is really powerful. When an exchange occurs, the receiver of the gratitude needs to put themselves in the shoes of the giver to really experience the emotion. When you place yourself in the giver's shoes, it enables you to feel the intention of the giver. It is very important that the receiver really feels the sincere intention of the giver so that they can stir the emotion of gratitude and respond accordingly. So, it truly is an emotional exchange that is very powerful. There are many reasons to be grateful. Gratitude is not just about an exchange between a giver and a receiver. It isn't limited to the giving and receiving of material things either. If you receive good advice from someone else, then you should certainly be grateful for this, for example. You can express gratitude on your own. Good health, the food that you have to eat, the people that you have in your life, the job that you work at that provides the money that you need. These are all things that you should be grateful for. As you will learn from going through this training, there are so many things that you have in your life right now that you can and should be grateful for. Most people will be grateful for what they receive from others, but they do little, if anything, to express gratitude for what they have in their life at this moment. What should you be grateful for? We have already said that there are many things that you can be grateful for. In this training, we will provide you with the knowledge and the methods that will help you to develop a true attitude of gratitude. It will help you to develop the mindset that you should take nothing for granted and that you should value everything that you have in your life. It is going to take practice to truly adopt an attitude of gratitude. We all lead busy lives these days, but you need to make room for gratitude. After going through this training, you will know when you need to be grateful and when you should take action to express it. Too many people take everything that they have for granted. Think about what your life would be like if you lost some of these things. Are you grateful for your health? Where would you be if you had significant health problems? So, if you suddenly had your health taken away, or have your car taken away, or you are even denied access to the people in your social circle, how would these things make you feel? Pretty bad is the answer. Now imagine slowly receiving all of these things back. Would you be grateful? You bet you would be. Start by finding happiness in what you have. One of the best ways to find things to be grateful for is to look for happiness in the things in your life that you have right now. Most people reserve their gratitude for receiving the bigger things in life, such as meeting the partner of your dreams, getting a promotion at work, or having a baby. If you are thinking this way, then you need to change. Here are some things you can try that are extremely easy to do. As soon as you awaken each day, be grateful that you have another day of life. That way that you view life will determine your happiness, and it will help you to appreciate how you see your life right now. When you think about it, there are so many things in your life that you can be grateful for. Just thinking about this can give you a real lift and make you feel a lot happier. So, make a commitment to identify the smaller things in life that you tend to take for granted and be grateful for these things. Look at the small things around you. Life is full of small things that you can easily take for granted. When you start to look at these small things, it can really help you to appreciate your life a lot more. Become more aware of nature, for example. When you see a beautiful butterfly, be grateful that nature can bring you these beautiful things. What about the food that appears on your table every day? What about the fact that you have air to breathe and the energy to do the things that you need and want to do? Yes, these things are simple, but when you really start to acknowledge them and appreciate them, then you will be even happier with your life. Put things in perspective with gratitude. When you develop your attitude of gratitude, it will really help you to put things into perspective. Sometimes you will have days when everything seems to be going wrong for you. When you experience these kinds of days, use your power of gratitude to remind yourself that every problem is an opportunity for you to grow. We all have challenges that we need to overcome in our lives. When you have an attitude of gratitude, you will be able to see good things in any form of adversity. Focus on this and be grateful for what you can gain from the situation. 
Maybe you will learn something new or develop a new skill to tackle a similar problem in the future. Start writing down things to be thankful for. To develop your attitude of gratitude, we encourage you to write down the things that you can be grateful for when they come to mind. This will help you to keep identifying the small things in your life that require your gratitude. As you continue to appreciate the smaller things in life, it will lead to greater happiness, contentment, harmony, and bliss. When you find yourself in a difficult situation, never see this as some form of punishment or a burden in your life that you must bear. Learn to appreciate problems. Change your thinking to believe that you should be grateful for all the problems that you face in your life. See all of these as making you a stronger and wiser person. It is all part of your journey to become a better person. You should never be in a position where you do not have anything to be grateful for. There are so many things that you can be grateful for, and when you practice this gratitude, then you will feel a lot happier in your life. Stop taking everything for granted. If you are ever feeling down for whatever reason, then think about something that you can be grateful for to change your state and make you feel better. Once you get into the habit of doing this, then you will find it easy to identify something that deserves your gratitude. Gratitude leads to abundance. The opposite of gratitude is focusing on the things that you do not have in your life. So many people concentrate on lack and end up living a pretty miserable life as a result. If you keep focusing on lack, then you will receive more lack. People never understand this, but it is how the law of attraction works and you cannot get around this life law. Whether you believe in the law of attraction or not doesn't really matter. We believe that it works and there's a lot of evidence to support this. But think about things this way. If you are always thinking about the things that you don't have, then this is not going to make you happy, is it? Learn from the Law of Attraction There are many definitions of the Law of Attraction. A simple definition is that what you focus on you will attract or manifest in your life. There is more to using the power of the Law of Attraction than just thought, but this is where it all starts. People that continuously moan and complain usually always find a lot of things to whine about. Have you ever wondered why this is the case? Well, it is the law of attraction giving these people what they want. The complainers send negative vibrations to the universe, and it responds by providing more negative things to them. So, the reverse of this is to be grateful for the things that you already have. When you do this, you are creating feelings of abundance. You send positive vibrations to the universe, and it will respond by sending you more. By being grateful for what you have, you are focusing your thoughts, and you are setting yourself up to manifest even more of the things that make you happy. You have already learned that gratitude is a very powerful emotion. When you express it, you generate very positive energy that will enable you to manifest more. Believe that gratitude creates abundance. The link between gratitude and abundance is something that a lot of people have a hard time getting their heads around. We are asking you to take a leap of faith here and believe that if you are grateful on a regular basis, then you will create abundance in your life. The positive energy that you create from being grateful will help you to align yourself with the universe to manifest abundance. Gratitude is very powerful and can help you to get everything that you desire in your life. You will see that as you practice your attitude of gratitude more and more that your life will change for the better and that you will manifest more. Each time you express gratitude, you send strong signals to your subconscious mind. Your subconscious is all-powerful and it will quickly recognize that you really appreciate having things in your life. So, you have two very powerful forces that will work for you here. The Law of Attraction, which responds to the vibrations, thoughts, and feelings that you send out when you are grateful for the things that you have in your life right now. And then there is your subconscious mind that will help you get anything that you desire if it believes that you are really serious about getting it. The signals that you send to your subconscious through your expressions of gratitude will help to convince your subconscious that you really want to receive more of what makes you happy. Negative thinking doesn't fit with abundance. If you are someone that thinks negatively about life, then you will never experience abundance. The two things just don't fit together. If you want abundance in your life, then you must make the transformation to positive thinking and being grateful for what you have now and what you see around you is a great way to do that. As you develop your attitude of gratitude, you will begin to see some remarkable changes in your life. These can be changes in your career or business life, your health and well-being, the way that you feel and act, and your social connections. All it takes to see improvements in your life like this is to stop complaining about what you don't have and appreciate what you do have. This is a significant positive change that will set you on the path to abundance. Make a commitment to see your blessings as much larger than your problems. This will make you a lot happier and will develop a much more positive outlook for you.
in time, you will believe that there is no problem in life that you cannot overcome and that no problem will ever make you think negatively about your life. We all have a positive energy that we can tap into when we need it. Most people find this hard to accept, but it is true. You are the result of your previous thoughts. If you had mainly negative thoughts in your life up until now, then what you have around you right now is a result of this. Abundance is all around you. The universe will always provide abundance. It is around you today and will continue to be there forever. You need to stop focusing on those small negative things in your life that most people seem to concentrate on. Getting all stressed out about having to take out the trash is not the way to go, but so many people end up thinking like this. So, if you find yourself having negative feelings about having to take out the trash, think about all of the food that you ate and the things that you have that resulted in the trash building up. Wrappers from food items and other things that you take for granted are all in the trash can. This may seem crazy, but it is a big first step towards gratitude and abundance. We all have limiting beliefs that define who we are and what we have. Maybe as a child you learned that money doesn't grow on trees. And this has led you to not having enough money in your life. Limiting beliefs can be changed, and when you start to truly be grateful for the money that you have now, it is a step in the right direction. The fact that you are grateful for this money, no matter how small, tells the universe that you want more of it. It also lets your subconscious mind know that money makes you happy. So, we are asking you to take on board that the world has inexhaustible resources that you can tap into by expressing gratitude. An attitude of gratitude will open up your life to all kinds of new opportunities that will lead to an abundant life. Abundance is real, and gratitude is the way to it. Developing a Gratitude Mindset Most people do not have a gratitude mindset. If you don't currently have a gratitude mindset, then don't worry, because we're going to show you how you can develop one. With dedication and practice, you can develop one pretty quickly, so please listen to every word of this lesson and follow the advice that it contains. The Benefits of a Gratitude Mindset When you have a gratitude mindset, you will have a positive outlook on life instead of a negative one. Instead of being bitter and twisted about everything, you will see life in a much more positive way. Everything in your life will begin to look a lot better. In turn, you will feel a lot happier with where you are in your life and optimistic about your future. Does this mean that you have to put up with not having what you want in your life? No, of course it doesn't. If you have a mean boss, do not earn enough money or have a partner who doesn't treat you right, then you can change all of these things. To make major changes in your life, you will need additional energy. A gratitude mindset will provide you with this extra energy. Being appreciative of what you have will move you closer to what you want. Your focus will improve, and you will not feel bad anymore about not having the things that you desire. With a gratitude mindset, you will see good in everything, even if it is a major problem for you. So many people become overwhelmed with problems and have a really tough time resolving them. If you see all problems as opportunities to develop yourself and are grateful for this, then solving these problems will be a lot easier for you. Making the transition to a gratitude mindset will change your life for the better. You will be able to move forward with total confidence knowing that nothing will stop you achieving your goals. It really is worth the effort to develop a gratitude mindset, so let's take a look at some of the ways you can do this. Develop a gratitude mindset with these four methods. Sometimes life can make people ungrateful and pessimistic. Because of this, they are very unhappy with their life and are always focusing on the things that they don't have. Even if you find yourself in this situation, you can develop a gratitude mindset if you follow these techniques below. 1. Be grateful when you wake up. As soon as you open your eyes in the morning and get out of bed, get your gratitude hat on. A good technique here is to think about three things that you are grateful for. Make these feelings of gratitude as strong as you can. You do not have to think about major things in your life to be grateful for. The important thing here is that you have strong feelings surrounding the gratitude. So if you have a great friend in your life that has always supported you and helps you in every way that they can, then you can be grateful for this person. Why not be grateful for the fact that you have another day ahead of you when you wake up? Think about Monday mornings. A lot of people wake up on Monday morning and instantly become depressed because they have a full week of work ahead. When you have a gratitude mindset, you are grateful for life no matter what day it is. 2. Be grateful before you retire each night. Before you go to sleep at night, think about three more things that you are grateful for. Think about the things that happened over the course of the day and focus in on those things that you were grateful for. Maybe someone helped you out at work, or maybe you accomplished something that was a real challenge for you. If you cannot think of anything to be grateful for that happened to you during your day, then just take a look around you. 
You are in a nice warm bed and you have protection from your home. This is a great thing to show gratitude over. Be really appreciative that you have a roof over your head and that you are not outside in the streets. 3. Create and maintain a gratitude journal. Computers are great, but there is real power from writing things down on paper. When you come up with three things to be grateful for in the morning and at night, write them down in your journal. Also record how strongly you appreciate having these things in your life. It may take you a while to get used to writing down your thoughts each day in a journal, but the benefits are certainly worth it. If you are ever struggling for something to be grateful for, then open up your journal and look back over what you have done before. This is sure to inspire you. You do not need to go out and buy a fancy leather-bound journal. Any notepad-type arrangement is fine. Don't put obstacles in the way that prevents you from starting a journal. As you make more journal entries, it will become easier for you and you will enjoy writing in it each day. 4. Express your gratitude to others. When you express gratitude for the things that you have in your life, you can conjure up very strong feelings that make you feel great. Another great way to experience these feelings is to show gratitude to the people in your life. When you are truly grateful to people, you will see how much they appreciate this and it will really give you a lift. Tell your partner why you love them so much and watch their face light up. Express gratitude to a friend that has helped you recently and feel the vibe from them. The more that you show this gratitude to others and experience the feedback, the quicker you will develop your gratitude mindset. The other three methods will get you there fast as well, so make a commitment to embrace these techniques and be grateful on a consistent basis. Gratitude and Empowerment Can gratitude really empower you? Yes, it can. And you will discover how in this lesson. In the last few lessons, you learned that having an attitude of gratitude will make you happier and see the positive side of things in your life. When you are grateful, this will also help in social situations as you will come across as a more compassionate and generous person. There have been plenty of studies showing that an attitude of gratitude provides physical and psychological benefits. When you practice gratitude regularly, it can help you to become healthier. Your immune system can benefit from your attitude of gratitude and this will lead to other health benefits. It is very likely that you will have more energy for life when you start being grateful on a consistent basis. From a psychological perspective, having an attitude of gratitude can help you to understand that life is all about the moments that you experienced, and it is not about just reflecting on good or bad things. Let's say that you have been in a bad car accident, and you have broken an arm or a leg. Instead of focusing on the pain and inconvenience of this, you will be grateful that you survived the accident and that you still have life. Gratitude drives optimism. With persistent gratitude, you will develop a much more optimistic outlook. It doesn't matter what problems come your way, you will always remain positive. You will have belief in yourself to the point that no problem, however large, will dampen your optimism for the future. People that do not express regular gratitude are far more likely to be pessimistic. When they are confronted with problems, they see this as some kind of punishment which fuels their pessimism. This is not a good place to be, but unfortunately, a lot of people are in this situation. See yourself in a better light. Another way that an attitude of gratitude empowers you is that it helps you to see yourself in a better light than you did before. When you focus on the good things in your life, you are far less likely to dwell on those things about you where you are coming up short. Of course, this doesn't mean that you cannot work on improving yourself. You absolutely need to do that. Your empathy will get stronger as you practice being grateful more. This will help you to avoid negative emotions such as jealousy when it comes to others. You will be able to recognize the achievements that others have made without conjuring up any negative feelings about this. An attitude of gratitude will give you more energy. In the fast-paced world we live in today, it can be difficult to summon up the energy that you need to achieve the things that you really want. By adopting a gratitude mindset and expressing gratitude on a regular basis, you will begin to experience a new energy within you. When you make the transition from negative to positive thinking, this is always going to make you feel more energized. You're going to have a lot of energy for a future life that you view with optimism than one that you are pessimistic about. After a while of regularly practicing gratitude, you will find that you are a lot more enthusiastic about life. Your attitude of gratitude provides you with a beam of energy similar to what you experience when you open your curtains in the morning and let the sun into your life. Gratitude can help you to find your true meaning. There's a lot more to life than just setting and achieving goals and pursuing various material things. With an attitude of gratitude, you will be able to find your path to self-realization. With a gratitude mindset, you will appreciate others more. And you never know, this could be your calling. Being able to support others is always a worthy thing to do.
It doesn't mean that you shouldn't pursue your own goals, but finding time to be grateful to others will give you a great feeling inside. Gratitude will improve your social skills. After practicing gratitude for a while, you will notice that you possess more positive energy and this will make you more popular with people because your personality will be a lot more pleasant and you will be seen as affable by others. The result is that you will make friends a lot easier than you were able to before. You will also be able to strike up much more meaningful connection with certain people and who knows where this will lead. When you have an attitude of gratitude, you will become a more social person who is willing to help others and people will trust you a lot more. Other people will really appreciate the change in you and when you meet new people, it is very likely that you will become friends with them because of your gratitude-driven personality. How you can learn gratitude. If you do not live a life of gratitude at the moment, then there's no need to worry. The good news is that you can learn gratitude, and that is what this lesson is all about. You will need to be prepared to apply what you learn here and put in consistent effort, but the rewards will be worth it as it will totally transform your life. Most people do not have a problem expressing gratitude when things are going well for them. But when they are having a bad time or even facing a crisis, most people do not even think about expressing gratitude. We want to emphasize that gratitude is a state of mind. It is nothing more than that. This is good news as it means that with a change of mindset, you can find a good reason to be grateful even when all around you seems to be falling apart. It doesn't matter how bad things appear. You can always be grateful for something. Always bear in mind that we are here for a relatively short time. And as long as we are alive and breathing, then this is something that we can easily appreciate. When things go really wrong in your life, which everyone has to face from time to time, with an attitude of gratitude, you will always believe that things will improve. If you know someone with an attitude of gratitude, watch how they conduct themselves and you will soon start to see a number of common themes and behaviors. People with an attitude of gratitude have realistic expectations. You can have the most detailed plans in the world, but you always need to accept that life rarely turns out the way that you expect it to. This is why a lot of top students in schools and colleges do not do any better in their lives than average students do. There are countless examples of people that you believe have less talent than you get the promotion that you deserved. Or maybe you knew someone at school that did badly and suddenly you discovered that they started their own business and are experiencing wild success. Nobody knows what the future holds for them. They can influence it to a large extent, and we strongly recommend that you do that. But you need to be prepared for those surprises that life often throws up. With an attitude of gratitude, you will always be able to see these things as opportunities and make the most from them. Unconditional happiness goes with an attitude of gratitude. People that practice gratitude don't set prior conditions for happiness because they know that they will not achieve this. A condition can be that you need to own a luxury car to be happy. If you don't have this car, then you will not be happy. Waiting around to get this dream car will just depress you. People that have an attitude of gratitude see good every day in their lives. They appreciate the small and big things in their lives, and happiness comes easy to them. So, if you want to be happy throughout your life, then you need to cultivate unconditional gratitude. Never base your happiness on wanting someone or something in your life. People with an attitude of gratitude, no good comes with bad. You need to accept that in life, good comes with bad. When you do this, it will be far easier for you to be grateful for all the good things that you have in your life while at the same time accepting that it is very likely that there could be a corresponding bad side to these things. So, for example, when you enjoy all that the summer brings, there is a reality within you that accepts that a cold winter will follow shortly afterwards. Or if it is pouring with rain outside, you accept that at some stage the rain will stop and the sun will come out and shine. Attitude of gratitude people are optimists. Once you get into the habit of expressing gratitude for the smallest things, you will find that any changes in your life will not phase you at all no matter how significant they are. This is because you will be an eternal optimist and you will only need the merest glimmer of hope to be happy in your life. People that practice gratitude regularly are always optimistic about their future. They fully appreciate how far they have come in life and celebrate the small victories that they have achieved. Optimism is something that you want to welcome with open arms as it is far better than pessimism that will drain you all of the time. So now you have the main learning points for developing an attitude of gratitude. By following these principles and practicing expressing gratitude regularly, you will find that all of these things easily slot into place. You can learn gratitude quickly and easily by following these principles, so keep on going and never give up. Developing the Habits of Gratitude You have endless opportunities to express gratitude multiple times every day. What makes it difficult for everyone is that negative thoughts in their minds can prevent them from being grateful. 
When you experience negative thoughts, there is a tendency for you to focus your attention on these and let negative emotions such as anger, fear, and anxiety take over your life. Of course, sometimes these emotions are helpful to us by protecting us from real danger, but often they are irrational. The trick here is not to let them dominate you so that they become the driving force in your life and what you will experience. In order to overcome this problem, you will need to put in some consistent effort to break negative patterns and introduce positive ones that will give you a new perspective on life. It is going to take time to do this. You wouldn't expect to go on a diet for a day and lose all of the weight you want and keep it off, would you? We are talking about long-term changes here. So, we are asking you to commit to these changes so that you can develop your attitude of gratitude. With regular practice, you can make the changes in your life that you need, and they will then form a new habit which you will then have on autopilot. Always remember, that no matter what is going on around you, there is always a chance for you to express gratitude. Even when you are extremely frustrated and disappointed about a situation, you will be able to see a reason to be grateful in it. Once you accept this, then you are really on your way to an attitude of gratitude. Developing Habits for Gratitude When you decide to change any routine or behavior, you must accept that it is going to take time and persistence to develop this into a brand new habit. Think back to when you first learned to drive a car. You had to focus on many different things to travel safely for a short distance. Now you can drive hundreds of miles without even thinking about it. When enough time has passed, the new behavior or routine just becomes something that you do automatically. By leading up to this, you will have to put in the effort and make some difficult transitions and you will often need encouragement and support. Do not underestimate the effort and attention to detail that you will need to develop a gratitude habit. Think about the end result here. There are so many benefits to having an attitude of gratitude and you can use this to drive you forward and put in that consistent effort. There's been a great deal of research on the subject of gratitude, and some of the most notable benefits of this are, you will be aware of the abundance that already exists in your life. It will help you to have more abundance in your life. It will help you to minimize the stress in your life. It will make you a lot more optimistic about your future. It will provide you with an increased sense of community. It will improve your resilience to handling difficult events. It will increase your sense of emotional well-being. It will increase the amount of physical activity in your life. It will help you to sleep better. It will improve your physical health. It will reduce feelings of depression. It will reduce feelings of anxiety. It will give your immune and cardiovascular systems a boost. We recommend that you print this page or write down these benefits so that you can look at them every day to drive you forward to develop your gratitude habits. It is going to take time and persistence to create new habits so having something like this list of benefits will motivate and inspire you. What happens if you do not follow through on your gratitude habit changes on a particular day? Well, you do not want to stress about this or beat yourself up. Just pick up where you left off the next day and try and be as consistent as possible. After a while, you will find that your gratitude habit becomes automatic for you. When you are trying to make real changes in your life, you need the patience and persistence to see them through. Developing good gratitude habits is no different to making any other change in your life. Just keep on practicing and you will reap the rewards. Here are three great gratitude habits you can start practicing right away. One, practice your giving. When you look around at society today, do you see many entitled kids and young people? One of the biggest barriers to gratitude is entitlement. A lot of people these days think that the world owes them. And if this is the case for you, it will be tough for you to be really appreciative about what you already have. You must overcome entitlement to develop an attitude of gratitude. The good news is that there are a number of ways that you can do this. One of the first things that you can do is to adopt a grateful attitude in your home. While you are doing this, you can teach your children the importance of gratitude and why it is much more important than entitlement. If you really want to be a good gratitude teacher, you need to engage in interactions and activities based around giving, sharing, and connecting with others as opposed to doing things and always expecting something in return. While most people in the modern world will give thanks automatically, there is still a great deal of entitlement thinking going on. A lot of people these days live in a constant state of disappointment because they do not receive the things that they believe they are entitled to. So, practice giving without expecting anything back. It is foolish to believe that the world owes you anything. It doesn't. When you believe you are owed, you will experience a life of continual disappointment, frustration, and resentment. 2. Gratitude thank you notes We have already mentioned that writing things down has a certain power to it. So another good way to break down entitlement and transition to gratitude is to write simple thank you notes for people. A lot of people have negative connotations about thank you notes. 
when they were younger, their parents pushed them to write long thank you notes to family members and other people expressing their gratitude about something. These notes had to be long because the parents felt that the person receiving the note would really appreciate this. If you were subjected to this, and many people were, then the thought of writing thank you notes may fill you with dread. It can overwhelm you and you end up procrastinating and not writing the note at all. Feeling obligated to write these kinds of notes is not a good thing and you need to change your thinking here. What you need to do in this situation is move past the feelings of obligatory gratitude and transition to reflective gratitude. With reflective gratitude, you will take a step back and reflect on the event associated with the thank you note. Make sure that you experience all the emotions that happened at the time. This should help you realize the benefit of what the person has done for you. You can then write a thank you note from the heart, which will be very well received. A thank you note written in this way will have a significant impact on the receiver. A thank you note written when you are feeling obligated will have nowhere near the same impact. So just turn this around to reflective gratitude and it will be a lot easier for you to write something totally sincere that the receiver will greatly appreciate. With these kinds of thank you notes, you will always get a response from those that receive them. This is excellent for your attitude of gratitude development as you will see firsthand how your application of gratitude has affected those close to you. Three, start a gratitude journal. Another great habit to cultivate on your attitude of gratitude journey is the use of a gratitude journal. We have already talked about this before and it is something that we highly recommend you do. When you wake up each morning, think about three things that you are grateful for. Write these down in your journal immediately. Reflect on all three things and then write in your journal why you are grateful for each one. So, for example, you could be grateful for having a job that pays all of your bills and puts food on the table. Think about why this is important to you and then write this reason. An example could be, with the money from my job, I can take care of my family who I love deeply and ensure that they have good food and shelter. You need to write your own reasons down. Everybody is different and what is important to you may not be as important to someone else. So resist the temptation to go searching for examples online. It is your gratitude journal and nobody else has to see it. So just be yourself, write in your language, and make sure that your feelings are really strong. Before you retire each night, think of another three things that you are grateful for and then follow the same process in your journal. This might be a challenge for you at first, but in a short time you will look forward to making your daily gratitude entries. A great benefit of a gratitude journal is that you can look back over it and reflect. It doesn't matter if you've been grateful for the same thing more than once. The important thing is that you have expressed your gratitude and committed it to paper. It will not take you awfully long to make your gratitude journal entries each day, so persevere with it. It will soon be an automatic thing for you to do. Practicing gratitude in your daily life. Now it is time to start practicing gratitude in your daily life. You can do this on your own or get others involved if you want. The most important thing is that you practice regularly. With patience and determination, you can develop your attitude of gratitude in a relatively short time. We encourage you to use the methods below every day so that you will start to transform your life for the better. Suddenly, you will see a number of opportunities that you didn't see before. You will also see great things in your relationship with others that you didn't previously notice, and you will start to feel really connected to others. Before we get into the methods that you need to practice, we need to tell you that some of them might make you feel a little uncomfortable, even embarrassed. It doesn't matter. Just keep trying them anyway. See beyond a little discomfort to the bigger picture of transforming your life with gratitude. We are going to recommend that you meditate, and the first practices are around this. The art of mindfulness meditation is a great way to discover gratitude every day. If you have never meditated before, then you might find this challenging at first. But stick with it and keep refocusing your mind if it wanders. Okay, here we go. 1. Gratitude Meditation Find a comfortable chair in a quiet place and sit down in it. It is best if you close your eyes for this meditation, but if you prefer not to, then you can just use a soft gaze to the floor about a yard in front of you. Make your mind quiet and slowly start to concentrate on your breathing. Take a deep breath using your nose and direct the air to your heart. Now visualize your heart filled with a radiating soft and violet light. As you take your deep breath, visualize the soft light in your heart changing to a pink color as it slowly combines with the violet light. When you exhale using your mouth, visualize a soft blue light moving away from the violet light and travel up through your body and out of your mouth. Each time that you breathe in, say softly to yourself, I am full of gratitude. And each time you breathe out, say, I give my gratitude to the universe. Repeat this cycle for around four to five minutes. After this, open your eyes or stop gazing at the floor. Two, gratitude journal meditation. We have mentioned a gratitude journal several times in this training. If you don't have one yet, then now is the time to get one. 
Nothing fancy is needed, just a notebook that you can place near your bed. Before you retire each night, sit quietly and focus your attention on your breathing. Be sure to relax your head while you are doing this. Close your eyes or use a soft gaze to the floor and then take some deep breaths. Pay close attention to each inhale and exhale. Reflect on the events of the day. Visualize the events and focus on those that contained laughter, acts of kindness or beauty. Notice how you feel as you focus on these things. What kind of thoughts are you experiencing? After reflecting on the events of your day, slowly focus on your breathing again and open your eyes or stop gazing. Now you need to write down the observations that you made in your gratitude journal. 3. Journal All Gratitude Begin to notice events of the day for which you are grateful. It doesn't matter if these are big or small things. It is far more important that you notice things rather than how big or significant they are. You could be grateful for a cup of tea or coffee, grateful to have a job, grateful to have good people around you, etc. Before you retire each night, write all of these gratitude points in your journal. Try to remember all of the moments of gratitude, but as a minimum, record three things. After a week of making these entries, you can go through your journal and reflect on them. 4. Breathing Focus It doesn't matter how busy you are, you can always find a little time for some gratitude. To do this, just stop and focus your full attention on your breathing. Notice every inhale and exhale that you make. Once you are truly focused on your breathing, say to yourself, Thank you for my breath as an expression of gratitude that you have life. Try to do this at least once a day and a minimum of three times a week. 5. Use visual and audible reminders for gratitude. We all forget things because there is always lots of other stuff that we need to concentrate on. This doesn't help when you are trying to form gratitude habits. So, we recommend that you create and place visual reminders in your home and place of work so that you can keep on the right path. These visual reminders are there to prompt you to spend some time on gratitude. Some good ideas for visual reminders are carrying a small stone in your pocket or purse. Each time you see the stone, it will remind you to be grateful. Put a visual note on your walls, a wall in your office, in your kitchen and bathroom, which just has the words, I am a grateful person. Use the alarm on your phone to remind you two to three times a day that you need to express gratitude. Create a visual reminding you to schedule short gratitude breaks throughout the day. Find a gratitude partner and remind each other of the need to practice gratitude throughout the day. 6. Gratitude in your family If your family is willing to practice gratitude with you, then take full advantage of this. Use the gratitude benefits list to encourage them to do so if they are not sure. It will really help you to create an attitude of gratitude in your home. Here are some of the things you can do. With the help of your family, create a gratitude list. Find a good place, such as the kitchen, to place a whiteboard or a large piece of paper where all family members can write things that they are grateful for each day. Agree on a time each week when you and the family will go through the entries on the list and reflect. Every week, create a new list. 7. Written Forms of Gratitude In a previous lesson, we discussed writing thank you notes expressing your gratitude using reflective gratitude rather than obligatory gratitude. We strongly believe that you should embrace this into your daily life by writing notes and letters that show your appreciation. Something that is written from the heart can have a lot more impact than the spoken word. The receiver of such a note or letter can hold on to this forever. Words only last for seconds, unless they are recorded. People tend to keep love letters from their sweethearts for this very reason. It doesn't matter if you've not communicated with someone that you owe gratitude for years. Imagine how stoked they will be to receive a letter from you after all this time expressing your gratitude to them. So, think about the people in your life, now and in the past, that have really helped you get where you are today. Take the time out to write them a gratitude letter. Reflect back to the time when they helped you. What did they specifically do, and how did that lead you to moving forward in your life? Tell them these things in your gratitude letter. Really let them know how their help and guidance has helped you. Want to make an even bigger impact? Deliver the letter to them personally and read it aloud to them before handing it to them. Get into the habit of writing your gratitude. Even small thank you notes can have a profound effect on the people receiving them. Take copies of all of the notes and letters that you write and keep them in a box that you can refer to on a regular basis. When someone does something for you, even the smallest thing, sit down and write them a thank you note as a minimum. For the people that have really had a major impact on your life, then a long letter is more appropriate. It may take you a while to get into the habit of writing letters and thank you notes, but it is something that we highly recommend that you do. So, make a commitment to write at least three thank you notes or letters every week to begin with. The Power of Gratitude in Relationships Most people live life at a frantic pace these days, and it is easy to take our loved ones for granted in this situation. So, 
We encourage you to take a moment and give thought to all of your important relationships and the times when you were truly grateful to each of these people. A lot of people make the mistake of assuming that their loved ones know what they are thinking or feeling. This is not a good idea and you should always let those that you love into your life more so that they always know how much they matter to you. It is all too easy to drift through life on autopilot and stop being consciously aware of the people that really matter around you. Once your brain is programmed to conform to a specific routine, then it will direct your focus to that routine and not spend your energy on anything else much. You need to make an effort to change this pattern and become more consciously aware. Instead of constantly creating to-do lists and being a slave to those lists, it is important that you start to notice all of the nuances that you missed out on through your autopilot mind programming. Benefits of expressing gratitude in your relationships. Divorces and breakups seem to be at a record high in the modern world. On TV programs, you hear one partner say that the other didn't give them enough attention, so this resulted in them leaving or worse, cheating on them. Taking a partner for granted is a very dangerous thing and something that we highly recommend that you avoid doing. When you have an increased awareness of gratitude, this can really have a significant impact on your relationships. There's a lot of evidence to support that when you express gratitude to your loved ones through words of kindness, the giving of gifts, and so on, that you will nurture your relationship with them. Your relationships will grow stronger when you express gratitude regularly. So now that you know this, it is in your interest to understand how you can show your appreciation to the most important people in your life. Expressing gratitude in relationships goes beyond saying thanks. Of course, there's nothing wrong with saying thanks to your partner or other loved ones, but they will probably expect this as the norm and expect more from you. The secret to expressing gratitude in relationships with the spoken word is to ensure that you include your observations, how much you need the person in your life, and how you feel about them. When you get this right, you will make the connection that you have with the person so much stronger. So, what do we mean by observation? Well, there are a number of things that a partner will do for you that you do not acknowledge enough. Maybe they wash the dishes or open the door for you. By letting a loved one know that you saw this and really appreciated it can make a significant difference in your relationship. Adding how their act of kindness made you feel is not a difficult thing to do. If they open a door for you, then just tell them that this made you feel special, or whatever the feeling was. Just think about the positive impact that their action had on you and how it made you feel. Telling people how much you need them in your life is not so easy. It can often be a challenge to acknowledge that you really need people, but of course, you do need them. You are always going to be affected by the people in your life, and when you can effectively tell them why you need them so much, then this will improve your relationships no end. Try not to restrict your gratitude in relationships to just the things that people do for you. Look for other opportunities to be grateful because they do exist. Think about how your partner is as a person, for example. Then tell your partner that you not only appreciate what they do for you, but who they are as a person as well. If your partner is a very thoughtful person, very compassionate, very generous, and so on, then tell them how much you appreciate these qualities that they have. They will really appreciate this and probably respond by telling you how much they are grateful to have you in their life. Gratitude Best Practices We want you to develop your attitude of gratitude as fast as possible, and we recommend that you follow these nine best practices. These best practices will guide you through your gratitude journey and help you to achieve your goals. 1. Many Reasons to Be Grateful Never view gratitude as a result of an exchange between a giver and a receiver. It is also not just connected to material things. Sometimes people will give you good advice and you can express your gratitude to them for this, for example. Think about all the things that you take for granted in your life. What about the fact that you wake up in the morning and have another day to live or the people that you have in your life? There are always things that you can be grateful for. 2. Decide on what to be grateful for. Look for happiness in the things in your life that you have right now. Pay special attention to the small things in your life that you probably take for granted. Start to become more aware of nature and think about the food that you eat and the fact that you have a roof over your head, for example. Look at all of your problems as opportunities to grow and express gratitude for this. Most people let their problems overwhelm them and have a negative attitude about them. By appreciating your problems, you will become a lot stronger and wiser. 3. Gratitude leads to abundance. Developing an attitude of gratitude will open up more abundance for you. When you are grateful, you send positive signals to your subconscious mind and the universe. The law of attraction will manifest the things that you really want in life and being appreciative of what you have will help you to manifest more. It is important that you believe that gratitude leads to abundance. You create positive energy when you express gratitude and the more that you practice showing your appreciation, the more that you will notice how much better your life is getting. 4. Develop a gratitude mindset The vast majority of people do not have a gratitude mindset. They take most things in life for granted. 
a gratitude mindset will make you a lot more optimistic about your future and help you to see the good in everything, even if initially things look bad. To help you to develop your gratitude mindset, always be grateful when you wake up in the morning and just before you retire at night. Start a gratitude journal and make entries in it every day. Be sure to express your gratitude to others as much as possible and use the feedback that you get from them to drive you forward. 5. Gratitude empowers you. Gratitude will empower you in more ways than you might think. It will provide you with a sense of optimism and help transition you from negative thinking to positive thinking. It will also help you see yourself in a better light and improve your empathy. With an attitude of gratitude, you will find that you have more energy than you did before and you will be a lot more enthusiastic about your life. It will also help you to discover your true meaning in life. Your social skills will also improve with gratitude and you will make friends more easily and create stronger connections. 6. You can learn gratitude. If you do not have an attitude of gratitude right now, then you can learn it. You will need to be prepared to make consistent efforts with your gratitude and you will be able to express gratitude even when things are not going right for you. Grateful people have realistic expectations and are always prepared for the surprises that life often brings. When you have an attitude of gratitude, you will have unconditional happiness in your life. You will accept that good comes with bad and will be really optimistic about your future. 7. Develop Gratitude Habits It is important that you develop gratitude habits. You can use these habits to replace your existing ones that do not support gratitude. Habits are going to take time to become automatic, so you will need to have patience and be consistent with your efforts. Gratitude brings so many benefits with it, including physical and mental health benefits. Write a list of these and use it to drive you forward. Practice giving to others. Writing heartfelt thank you notes with reflective gratitude rather than obligatory gratitude. And start recording your daily gratitude in your gratitude journal. 8. Practice gratitude daily. Cultivate gratitude by practicing it daily. Use meditation to express gratitude. Reflect on the events of the day and record your gratitude moments in your journal before going to sleep. Use your journal to record as many of your gratitude moments as you can. Focus on your breathing and be thankful that you have breath. Use visual and audible reminders to prompt you to practice gratitude. Get your family involved in your gratitude journey and encourage their participation. Write gratitude letters and thank you notes regularly. 9. Use gratitude in your relationships. People tend to take the most important people in their lives for granted. Don't make this mistake or it can end up in tears for you. Don't assume that your loved ones know what you are thinking and how you are feeling. Let them into your life so that they know they are deeply appreciated. Using gratitude in your relationships is a lot more than just saying thanks, as this is expected as the norm. When you express gratitude in a relationship, include observation. How the person makes you feel and why you need them. Look at the important people in your life as people and express gratitude for their qualities. Conclusion We've gone to great lengths in this training to explain to you what gratitude really is and the many benefits that it can bring you. Now, it is your turn. Please don't just go through this training and then do nothing. Use what you have learned every day to develop your attitude of gratitude. Once you have your attitude of gratitude, you will notice your life change significantly. You will have a far more optimistic outlook on life and you will find that more good things come into your life. So make a commitment to lead a life of gratitude and start to develop your attitude of gratitude today.